Hello, YouTube family. All right, this is Private Citizen. I know it's been a while. Uh, had a lot of things going on, you know, life events, things like that, dealing with. I mean, nothing too major, but uh, just didn't really have the time to do things, you know, take the time out to record. But today, YouTube family, I wanted to share with you a new uh, windscreen I got for my bike. This is uh, from a company called California Scientific. CalSci. So you can see it here. This is uh, something a little bit different. Now, according to what I now according to what I ordered. It is uh, the exact same height as the, uh, the stock windscreen, the top to bottom. Although somehow here it looks a little short, but when I go to do the install, uh, we'll actually check that out. Uh, it comes wrapped, plastic bag. And then the screen itself is wrapped in some kind of like saran wrap type stuff. So you can see on the screen here, what I have is a, uh, you know, this super aerodynamic curve. Cause you know, at uh, Cal Sci, California uh, Scientific, a bunch of uh, engineers there. And apparently this is supposed to um, make the airflow better. Um, it's also supposed to help uh, keep the buffeting off your back. You know, when you're going like faster speeds, uh, 70 plus, whatever, you can kind of feel the wind pushing you and whatnot. So this is supposed to help with that. So I'll let you know how that goes after I install it. But I'll be installing this on my 2018 Goldwing and uh, letting you know how it goes. I will say this, this is, uh, I want to say like a polycarbonate, plastic based uh, windscreen. So one thing I did learn when I took my trip down to Pensacola, when you go to the gas stations, don't use the squeegees to clean your windscreens because there's a lot of uh, sand and dirt and whatnot on them for people using it and it just winds up scratching it up. I can show you my uh, my factory windscreen that's on the bike right now and it's nothing but scratches all over the place. So anyway, like I said, it came in a box, nicely wrapped with some, some uh, what do you call these, air pop insulation and then it itself was wrapped in plastic wrap and placed in a bag so stay tuned and i will go over the actual install i promise this time no background music because some people had some uh some complaints slash comments about not being able to hear so i will try to just stick to the facts and just the facts all right, let's stay tuned. Part two, something I did forget. So also in the box came a cloth to clean off the windscreen, a tire gauge that was included. I didn't know that was in there, uh, but California Scientific with the website and some cleaning fluid. So I just wanted to let you know that. So. The one screen I showed you, some other stuff I didn't go over. Hold on, I got some notes. Yeah, rubber band broke though. Put this down. All right, so here's the facts. All right, so the stock height for a 2018 windscreen is uh, 16 and a half inches, top to bottom. At least according to the CalSci website. So the new one I got is, um, I'm sorry, let me start over. Okay. The stock width at the top. So at the top of the windscreen before it starts curving in, uh, the stock width is 16 and a half inches. So the, the new screen that I purchased is now 19 inches wide. So it's uh, 
two and a half inches wider at the top of the screen before it starts curving in. However, the bottom of the screen is exactly the same width as a stock screen, and that's 24 inches across. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll take the original off and I'll place them front to back so you can see both of them lined up and get an idea of the actual differences. Uh, so, they do um, sell different sizes. You can get a shorty, um, which is only 13 and a half inches tall, all the way up to a XXL, which is 24 and a half inches tall. If you need additional height to cover things, or if you're putting it on a non-tour model and you want a, a taller height, uh, you know, because you can't actually move it up and down with the, um, a motor. Uh, the price was $200. Uh, I'll let you know if that's worth it in a little bit. And my other thought is uh, with the hole there, it's going to be a rain issue, which I really don't see. Um, riding in the rain generally, uh, you're going to get wet. So I'm not sure having the hole in the screen is going to make much of a difference either way because if it's raining that bad, the rain will come up from the bottom or around the sides over the top. So, yeah. So that's it. Bear with me. I'll be back in a minute to actually show you the install. Thanks. Okay. So for this job, I have a five millimeter hex socket on a uh, electric screwdriver, right? I'm using a pick to help get out the little pop rivets and this to actually push the, the detent in on the pop rivet to get it out. Uh, like I said before, I'm going to remove the old stock windscreen Put one on top of the other and show you so you can see the difference in the sizes and shapes and then actually install the new one all right stay tuned so first push in a little detent on these push pins done now to get them out i'm just using a little hook tool you can get this at harbor freight that's one That's two. Now for these, the way it works is it slides down and comes off. Slides down, comes off. And now to undo the five millimeter screws. So you see there is the screw and two rubber type washers. Well, this one's metal and then a plastic washer. So the plastic washer goes against the screen. Then you have the metal washer and then the screw. Plastic, metal, screw. Got it? Okay. I just noticed that was, this one was actually on backwards when it was assembled at the factory they had the uh, plastic was actually against the windscreen so I think that was wrong I noticed um, I mean the plastic was not against the windscreen the metal washer was this one's the same way but here it's actually correct so I don't know what, what's going on but So I'm holding it with one hand, unscrewing the rest of the screw with the other. And, uh, hmm. Seems like it didn't come off. So it looks like there's uh, little edges here where it's raised. So 
I guess that will be sufficient to hold hold it in place so you can get the screws on but I don't think I would trust it I would put a screw in right away just to hold it but there it is it's off all right so we removed the old windscreen so now let me show you what it looks like for comparison so this is the original and this is the new trying to match this up the best I can so you can see it's about the same height and it's a little more than an inch maybe two inches wider well, almost two inches wider on each side and slightly wider at the bottom um, just remember the curvature is not perfectly the same for each so if you measure the distance across the surface it would be probably exactly the same width. It's just the top one is curved slightly more than the newer one. So I will be installing this. And uh, I don't know if just two inches more on each side at the top is going to make that much of a difference. But um, I'm hoping it will. And this hole in the middle right here, I hope that's going to help with the airflow and the buffeting. All right. There you go. Stay tuned. Okay, so I have the new windscreen. About to install it. I just removed enough of this plastic wrap to get it out of the way. So I got one screw. Put the first screw in. Remember, you want the, the plastic washer against the windscreen. This is just to hold it. Then you wanna make sure that the screen is actually seated. And actually, this works better, it just fits right on. The other one, the original, the actual arms had to kind of come in a little bit to actually meet the windscreen, but this looks like uh, it's matching pretty well. Next screw, opposite lower side. So if you haven't realized that, it's pretty hot out here. I would say it's probably in like the mid 80s, I don't know. I'm just trying to make sure that the, the windscreen is actually on this, the, the piece, the part that's protruding and doesn't get caught on it so that uh, this doesn't crack. These uh, bolts, the screws, the bolts actually have a, a shoulder on them. So I don't think you can over tighten it because the shoulder will actually meet the, the metal part that's, that's protruding from the arms. Here's my uh, sonic screwdriver, I call it. Okay, so it feels pretty snug, uh, 
sometimes I just do like a hand just to get a feel for it because I don't know exactly what torque the screwdriver is putting on there. So I try to do like a hand feel. Okay, I think that's it. All right, so lastly, turn on the remote. Hopefully the bike will start. Hold on. Screen function up and down. So everything's working fine. Uh, if you didn't know, I will show you. So in order to keep the screen up, push up and then hold the button up on the turn of my ball. I did forget the two push pins. So in order to reset these, what you do is you have to push it out and sit down like that. Now these arm covers, there is a side, there's a left and a right. I'm trying to figure out which is which now. This has an L on there, which is left. And this one says cover R, right, which I'm assuming is left to right from sitting on the bike. But also, if you look at the arms, it'll say stay R windscreen. So this is right, and this one most likely says stay L left windscreen. So R with R, L with L should be okay so put it on remember it goes on and then up reset the pin and then just check to make sure that it's on there and that's it so as I always say that's it Bob's your uncle Thanks, thanks for watching. Uh, and see you next time. All right.